Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you are just in time for something new. All right, now in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how to be able to use the Cut Buddy to be able to trim your beard and line it up. Now, if you don't know what the Cut Buddy is, basically it's this tool that was created, you know what I'm saying, to be able to help people that don't wanna to go to a barber shop or whatever, to be able to help them give themselves a perfect lineup or whatever you wanna call it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, if you guys wanna be able to use this tool after this tutorial to purchase it, you can use the code just in time or click on the link down below to be able to order your Cut Buddy today. But just to give a little bit of tips in regards to this tool and everything like that, when you first open it up, it should come with the, with the Cut Buddy itself, this tool, but it also should come with the pencil sharpener. Now, I believe you can buy both of them individually or together, you know what I'm saying? So, but with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let me show you guys how I use this to be able to trim up and line my beard. I'm not gonna use it today to give myself a lineup because I'm choosing to rock the curls and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, let me explain how I use this bad boy for my beard. All right, now when it comes to the pencil sharpening tool, I personally don't use this. I, I really don't care to use it because at the end of the day, the Cut Buddy, in my personal opinion, is very great when it comes to lining your beard and you don't have to outline your beard because you can use the Cut Buddy to be able to trace the contours of how you want your hairline to look when it comes to your beard, you know what I'm saying? But one of the dope features about this tool right here is at the end of it, the cap is actually a pencil sharpener. So if you ever wanna use this, just keep that in mind. And at the same time, when it comes to the tool, there's three distinct features when it comes to the Cut Buddy, you know what I'm saying? The first one are the curves. And what you'll notice is there's three different curves. There's this curve right here, there's this curve right here, and then there's this curve right here. Now, when it comes to the curves, you can use those curves to be able to help uh, with your beard. You can use those curves when it comes to your sidelines and things of that nature, but the curves are great for that reason. The second feature is basically the straight edges right here. You know what I'm saying? So you can see the straight edge as well as this straight edge right here. You can use the straight edges more, more precisely if you wanna be able to give your sideburns a more straighter look or if you wanna be able to touch up the, the, the basically the corner of your beard, you know what I'm saying? And then they have this thing right here. This, I'm not gonna mention, I'm not gonna focus, focus too much on this part, but you can use this portion of the tool. This is basically a corner on the, on the cut buddy to basically be able to hit the corners of your, your hairlines. Now today, the, the trimmers that I'm gonna be using, these are the Andy Slimline Pro. I'll also make, make sure I leave a link down in the description below. These are cordless trimmers and everything like that. To me, in my personal opinion, they're very dope. They're very great. Out the box, they hit pretty hard. But let's get into how I'm gonna use this bad boy to be able to give myself a cleaner look when it comes to my beard. All right, now when it comes to using the Cut Buddy for your beard, the three different curves can help out in different ways. Personally, uh, every single one of these contours and curves will not match every single person's uh, natural hairline or beard line or whatever you want to call it. So you have to be able to use this and finesse the different angles and the different contours to be able to give you the look that you want when it comes to your beard and your hair, you know? So with that being said, what I basically mean is on this side right here, as you guys can see, uh, this is the, where it starts off with the lines. This is something where I would line this up with my side lines right here and then try to use this contour to be able to go into my beard as such. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna place this right where I want my lineup to start with my beard. As you can see this portion right here, and then I'm gonna try to angle it to be able to give myself the beard contour that I want on my beard. Now, the great thing about the Cut Buddy tool is all you have to do is hold the rubber uh, handle on it, press it firmly against your face, turn your guards on, and then just go to work. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the first pass of me lining myself up and just basically trying to give myself a cleaner appearance when it comes to my beard. And as you can see, sometimes you may have to go over this several times, but the biggest thing I wanna point out is whenever it comes to your sidelines, you don't have to go all the way up using the Cut Buddy when it comes to the curved portion. That's wherever the straight end portion comes into effect. And once you get the curve that you want when it comes to your beard, you basically place this against your face. Make sure you line it up to where you want it. Get your clippers again, and then only hit the portions of your hair that you want to be able to knock off with Cut Buddy. And voila, 
within seconds you can basically give yourself a cleaner lineup you know what i'm saying so typically when it comes to my video a lot of people that have waves their main concern is being able to cut their hair and then messing up on that lineup you know so what i normally tell people to do is you can cut your hair as a waiver and then go to the shop and basically get a lineup but with the cut buddy this is simply a tool that you can use as a beginner to be able to give yourself their barbershop lineup you know what i'm saying at the same time it may not be as crispy and as sharp as a barbershop but if you save yourself $15 because nowadays barbers they trying to charge the same price in regards to lineups for haircuts and everything like that so depending on where you go you can save yourself the cost of a haircut or a lineup by simply being able to give yourself an, an all even cut as well as to give yourself either a semi decent or even a great lineup by using this tool all right now when it comes to the top portion of your sidelines or whatever the case is you can't give yourself a lineup and neglect the top portion you know what i'm saying so with that being said whenever it comes to your beard you want to at least make sure this portion of your hair all the way down is cut trimmed up and lined up because it'll give you a greater appearance in the way that i use the cut buddy to be able to help me be able to line up my hairline to match my beard line is i simply take this portion right here as you guys can see with the with the ruler lines and i use this as the box outline to be able to give myself the uh cut on my side lines so what i do is i placed it right where i want the hair to be cut and a pro tip that you can use is instead of placing it right here you can start off in the back to where you would have to push your hair forward like this and what that does is that brings the hair uh over the, the over the, the 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 line that you want to be able to cut to be able to make sure you get all the hair off then you make sure you have it firmly held in place and then just go to work And then after you give yourself a lineup, you always need to brush your hairline down just to see how it looks, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take a soft brush right here and then just simply brush my hair down just to see how it looks and see if there's any hairs that, that hang over my hairline or my beard line or whatever. And then go back over with the cut buddy to try to to try to clean it up. All right, so as you guys can see, there's a, there's a little bit of hairs right here as well as right here that they, they still go over. So what I'm gonna do is take the take the tool again and simply place it where I want it. But like I always say, you can't use the full contour to be able to do everything, and you have to turn it certain ways to be able to get the the the, the cut that you want. So you see I use the cut buddy at the top portion to be able to get rid of this but as you see if I follow the curve all the way through it would dig into my hairline so what I need to do is simply go back to using the straight edge portion of it right here start further back push my hair forward to the line to my to, to the lineup that I want and then just knock that hair off And as you can see, I don't have too much of my hair going over my hairline, you know what I'm saying? So for me, like I always say, you guys, it don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, especially if it's free, you know what I'm saying? So just get it the way that you want it because at the end of the day, in real life, most people are not staring at your hairline to be able to say, oh man, you got a perfect hairline. People really won't notice that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And like I always say, it's always weird to me that dudes be checking for other dudes like this. So if another dude checking for you like that, man, just remember this. You graduated from grade school and you don't have to take shit from anyone. Now, when it comes to my beard, you can use the different contours to try to figure out exactly how you want your beard shape to take place. And as you can see, this isn't the same line that I used the first time. The first time when I did my beard, I used this side right here with the ruler ends on the, on the end of it right here. You know what I'm saying? I basically took that right here. But if you, want, if you need to experiment, you can flip it over. There's another curve right here, another contour that is kind of similar to following your, your natural beard line, you know what I'm saying? And you could just simply place that right there. And like I always say, you start be you start behind your hairline and then you push it up just to be able to knock those hairs that may try to come over or overlap your hairline. And sometimes what I do is the hair that's a little bit above this, there may be some small little hairs. Since I don't have to worry about lining that portion up, I just simply take my trimmers and then basically knock off those hairs as such. And then as you can see as a before and after if you take a look at my left side you see all of the crazy hair that i have right here 
but after using the cup buddy it'll give you a look like this you know what i'm saying so that looks a lot more professional that looks a lot more clean and at the end of the day it allows you to be able to go out there and do whatever you have to do within your day you know what i'm saying now if you wanted to you can continue to knock off i have a little bit of hairs right here i may knock those off but one last little tip before i go ahead and finish the other side whenever it comes to doing your beard what you want to try to do is maintain these sim the symmetry right here on your beard line you know what i'm saying so whenever you're using this tool the next time around what i may try to do is i'll try to use this portion to be able to start and line up to make sure that this lines up with the other side of my face you know so but i'm gonna go ahead and finish up off camera and then show you guys the final results all right so i'm back right quick just to show you guys how i finished up my left side just to go just just to be able to give you guys a reference point this is how my right side looks right here you know what i'm saying you can basically take a look at that and doing the same thing on the left side like i mentioned before Basically using the cut buddy, it allowed me to be able to give myself a, a, a sharper trace in regards to my outline to be able to give myself a cleaner look, you know what I'm saying? So that's the, that's the goal at the end of the day when it comes to my channel is to be able to help you guys take your personal grooming to the next level as well as your waves or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, another question that a lot of people typically ask me is the fact that when it comes to trimming your beard and giving yourself a lineup, what do you do with the under portion or, or the hair that grows in your neck? Because if you like me, you know what I'm saying? Your boy J. Lou, I'm like a wearable, bro. I got hair that grows everywhere. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure you maintain a clean and appearance even by having a beard. So for me, if you look on the under portion of my neck, as you can see, I typically try to cut the, I typically try to follow my jawline when it comes to my neck to be able to trim all that hair off right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want hair growing all the way down right here because to me, that just doesn't look right, you know? So, but by keeping the hair growing from my jawline, it allows my beard to be able to look thick and full all the way around without having to worry about looking like a lumberjack or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I just simply take my trimmers and then just cut off the hair on my neck and then just be on my way. But just to end this video off, I wanna give a big salute to the Cut Buddy system, you know what I'm saying? They sent me this tool out to do a review on it. At first, for the longest, my opinion was that, man, you don't need a Cut Buddy. It's better to be able to learn how to get yourself a lineup or whatever freehand. But one thing that I noticed by using this tool is the fact that it can help speed up the, the time it takes to be able to do your lineups. The reason why I say that is whenever I'm trying to line myself up with clippers, I have to make sure I keep an eye on wherever the guard is and I have to be precise in regards to cutting my hair. But with the cut buddy, what it allows me to be able to do is all I have to do is place it against my face and as long as I keep it placed against my face, I don't have to worry about that and I can just simply cut as fast as possible, you know? So I don't have to worry about plugging myself. I don't have to worry about pushing my line back or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? So if you wanna cop a cut buddy for yourself, I'll make sure I leave the link down in the description below or if you go to their website, just simply put in the code just in time. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I may make a video in the future in regards to using the cut buddy on doing your lineups and your hairlines, but I hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. It's your boy J. Lou. Salute. After my first year in college, I was told I wouldn't make it. Fell so bad, my scholarships, they tried to take it. Yeah. Friends to my foes, yep, all I heard them say. How in the world did you get a 1.6 GPA? You should consider dropping out or at least switch your major. The odds of graduating now are not in your favor.